Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning once again. And this is Psalm for the day that is um, uh, coming to you uh, from the redeemed Christian Church of God, Central Parish, Abuja. Uh, today we are going to continue from where we stopped yesterday. And we are looking at Psalm 74. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that we are alive to witness another day and to sit at your feet and to learn from you. As we go into this psalm, Holy Spirit, come and lead us. Come and give us an understanding of your word and help us to be doers of the word, not just hearers, so that we might be blessed of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, yesterday we started with this psalm 74. And I told us that we are going to looking at verse 1 to 4. Yesterday we considered verse 1, and today we are going to add verse 2, and I want us to read. Let us read 1 to 4 again. O God, why hast thou cast us off forever? Why doth thy anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember the congregation which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed, this, this Mount Zion wherein thou hast dwelt. Verse 3, lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolation, even all that the enemy had done wickedly in the sanctuary. Thy enemies ruin in the midst of thy congregations. They set up their ensigns for sign. Praise the name of the Lord. So this is uh, what the enemy did. Now, like we said yesterday, this sign is um, written by uh, or composed by Asaph, who was uh, one of the Levites that was appointed by King David to be singing in the sanctuary of Yahweh. Hallelujah. So he composed this song, and uh, this is a, a, a song uh, of uh, lamentation, to say, and uh, plea that for God to intervene because of what um, the children of Israel went through in the hands of the, the enemy, that is the Babylonians, who carried them into captivity and um, uh, ransacked and uh, uh, destroyed the temple and so on. And so today we. Uh, uh, Looking at verse 2, he says, Remember thy congregation, which thou hast uh, purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion wherein thou hast dwelt. Song is reminding God. He said, Don't forsake your own children. Remember that we are your children whom you have redeemed purchased. Now, remember when the children of Israel, you know, they were in the land of Egypt, under Pharaoh, bondage. God had to send Moses. God had to send Moses to, you know, to Pharaoh, to ask Pharaoh to let the children of Israel to go, that they are his uh, peculiar treasure. Praise the name of the Lord. So the children of Israel, they are a peculiar treasure. And you that is listening to me, you are also a peculiar treasure if you are a child of God, if you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, because the Bible says so. 
that in the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, that if you are in Christ, then you are Abraham's uh, heir. You are uh, an heir, a son, a daughter, according to that which has been promised. So, um, uh, the, the, the writer of uh, this uh, psalm uh, called upon the name of the Lord to remember uh, his covenant. Uh, God, in the book of uh, Exodus chapter six, 3, verse 6, revealed himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise the name of the Lord. And these, these, these were descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. And so uh, they were entitled to deliverance. And if you look at the book of uh, Exodus chapter 19 and verse 4, God also said, he said, Remember what I did to the Egyptians, how I drowned them in the Red Sea, and how I took you out uh, from, you know, the land of Egypt uh, on eagles' wings because you had a special treasure. He was asking them to obey him. If they continue to obey him, he, they will remain a special treasure unto God. Now, let us also look at um, um, the book of First Peter. The book of First Peter, First Peter chapter one, First Peter chapter one, verse um, uh, verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. God is talking to you, he's talking to you, he say, you are a royal priesthood, a kingly people, a special people who have been called, separated, consecrated, and set apart for his own glory. Praise the name of the Lord. That is uh, in, uh, in, in summary, what that uh, message is um, uh, talking about. So, as uh, children of the Most High God, God will always remember his own children. He will always remember his own children because in the book of Psalm 89, um, Psalm 89, verse 28 to 34, God said his faithfulness will never, he will never suffer his faithfulness to fail. He said he has given a covenant, made a covenant with uh, David and that covenant is to generations, uh, David's generation to come that even when they have committed sin, he would still, he can punish them, but he would uh, always show his kindness unto them. God is always interested in people who realize that even though they have sinned, they have a father that they can run to in repentance, because God is not interested in the death of a sinner. And that is why he's always you know, opening his hands to receive those that um, uh, will repent of their sin and they will return to God and they will sin no more and they will ask for grace to live holy and to live um, a righteous life. Praise the name of the Lord. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We have been purchased by the, the blood, the blood of the Lamb. You are a purchased person. That is why you cannot afford to live in sin. You cannot afford to run away from your own father. Because if you are a sinner, you will be running away. Sinners do hide. And the Bible says that God is not happy with the sinners. I'm sure you don't want God to be unhappy with you. Because if God is unhappy with somebody, he would uh, close his hands. The person would not receive. The person would not receive. So God wants to bless us and make us a blessing at all times. So we should be able to you know, stay with him, honor him, follow him. Uh, whatever the enemy uh, has uh, thought they have done, God is able to, when you call upon the name of the Lord, to neutralize whatever the enemy has done in your life. When you call upon him, he would hear and he would answer. And God, I can assure you, always answer to the call of his children. The Lord will answer your prayers even as you call upon him in righteousness. God will hear you in repentance accept you back unto himself if you have fallen, the Lord will release that grace to you to live holy and righteous unto him in 
Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, even as we have heard your word. Make cause your word to change us and make us better people for you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Celebrate your goodness tonight.